Some of my earliest memories of art included learning from my dad and my cousin. They had a lot of different sketchbook pages and they kind of encouraged me to pretty much learn how to sketch and do it on a daily routine. I did a lot of drawings of cars like Lamborghinis and stuff. I was really inspired by Leonardo da Vinci and how he was also into drawing inventions and designs aside from painting portraits. And I, I, I pretty much continued doing all that until I got into Cleveland School of the Arts. One of my teachers that had an impact on me at CSA was Ms. Tellich. He left drawings on the board every day, which is no surprise, but they weren't just drawings like I get from most kids. They were hilarious. When we were reading Hamlet, it would be something about Hamlet's interactions with Ophelia or Hamlet's interactions with Claudius, and it would always just say something hilarious. You could see even at that time that his creative thinking was understanding history kind of in this context and then also creating this empathetic way of understanding people and presenting it and then creating a story. And I think he does that through his artwork. My class of students were one of the first students to actually enroll into the building because it was newly built and they wanted to make the school a bit more welcoming to the students so they invited several artists of the school to create murals on all of the blank walls and I was chosen as one of the artists and I was working on several different concepts for the piece and one that struck me was a piece that kind of resembled the mode of creation that Ken Day Wiley does when he takes African-American figures and inserts them into traditional and art historical paintings. At the beginning of the mural is from A Girl with a Pearl Earring by Johannes Vermeer. Which notoriously features a very white woman and he repainted it with an African-American. So in the same way that I saw him reinvent or take history and context and tell his own story through it, you know, he made a giant mural in Cleveland School of the Arts cafeteria. Pretty much every figure in that piece was created from imagination. I would just use different facial features from anybody walking around. So for my BFA, I'm exploring ideas of commuting in Cleveland. Commuting as far as like taking the bus or walking from place to place is something that I do pretty much every night. Transportation is a, a big reality for him and I think it's kind of amazing how he transforms it into something to make work about. I really like the different visual elements I see at night where buildings are kind of illuminated but the sky is pitch black so it's all these different glowing elements. For my piece titled Late Bus, I wanted to make a painting about a bus being better for it to be late than early. And a figure is uh, looking at his watch, no bus is in sight, and several other figures are in the background just exploring the night. I think now he's telling his own story. He's finding what interests him and he's understanding through his own eyes why it's important. And he's communicating that through his art and he's communicating it to a wider audience. So this is my final year at CIA. So I'm going to possibly take up like an art directing job or a creative directing job and maybe grad school. And on the side, I'll be doing a studio practice. So I'll, I'll still be painting. You know, I expect that he's going to do extraordinarily well. Like I, I think that we're gonna be hearing about him for a very long time.